Welcome to Hanover Shoe Farms. Hanover is the world's leading breeder of standard bred horses. This video will start you out learning ways to work safely with horses. Remember, safety comes first. We use a team approach for most tasks here and you will be teamed up with more experienced people who can help you learn the correct and safe way to do your job. The golden rule here at Hanover is simple. If you do not understand something or if you feel uncomfortable, stop and ask for help. Do not make up a solution. Instead, stop and ask for help. We hope that you'll find your career here rewarding, challenging, enjoyable, and most of all, safe. To begin, let's take a look at a horse. There are a few key terms that you should know in order to do your job well. Horse people have created many specific names for the parts of a horse in order to quickly and precisely describe something. Some of them you already know. Nose, ears, knees, hoof, tail, and so forth. Here are a few more technical names that you might not know. Withers, Stifle, Hock, and Pastern. Knowing these parts of a horse will help you follow directions when working with horses. Horses are large and powerful animals. Fortunately, most horses accept humans and are willing to be guided by humans. The most important safety principle with horses, therefore, is to make sure the horse knows where you are and to avoid being in a place where the horse might unintentionally step on you or squeeze you or part of you against a wall or doorway. Your job here may require interacting with horses in enclosed areas like stalls or barns and also open areas like paddocks and fields. You may be called upon to catch, release, lead, or groom horses. There are a number of job functions such as helping to train yearlings in preparation for the sales. No matter what the job or location, these guidelines will help you work safely. When you approach a horse, your goal is to establish a temporary bond with that horse in which the horse trusts you and is willing to cooperate with what you want to do. When horses are not in a situation they trust, they naturally try to protect themselves from anything frightening. A horse's primary defense is to run away, and you can get hurt if a horse suddenly tries to do this. If flight is impossible, a horse may seek to defend itself by kicking or biting, and this can cause injury also. If you and the horse trust each other, however, the horse's defenses will not be activated and you will be able to do your job while enjoying the great satisfaction that comes from working with horses. There are caution zones and safer zones to remember when working with horses. If you stand close to and alongside the horse, you are in a safer zone. If you stand directly in front of a horse or behind it, you may be in danger of being kicked or struck by a hoof. Even if the horse takes fright and rears up, you are in a fairly safe position if you are alongside him. Horses can rear up and strike very quickly if frightened. Stay alongside the horse and pay attention at all times. This is one reason we try to use a team approach. Working in teams of two or more people provides extra sets of eyes to observe the situation and more people paying attention to being safe. Never let the job become routine. As you become more comfortable around horses, the things you do with them will become easier and almost second nature. But that does not mean you should ever let your mind wander. You should always pay careful attention to the horse and remember that the horse is always paying careful attention to you. To review, here are the points covered so far. Always ask when you do not understand. Never start any task that you have not been trained on. Anytime you have something new to do on the job, a more experienced team member needs to be there to show you how to do it safely. Always report any unusual or aggressive horse behavior to a supervisor. Keeping in mind that you will receive training in a team setting, here are some basic principles for some of the tasks that you may be asked to perform with horses. We often hear the expression breaking a horse, and this term is still often used, but it does not really mean overcoming a horse's will or forcing it to do anything. That simply does not work, and people who don't believe this are more likely to get injured. What it does mean is training, earning a horse's trust, and guiding him to do what needs to be done. There is nothing more satisfying about working with horses than when your horse starts working with you and fulfilling his potential. Horses are very social animals and follow routine very well. 
but younger horses just in from the fields are in a completely new environment and have no idea what they are supposed to do. They seem pretty rough at first, but with kindness and patience, they will become accustomed to being led around and worked with. Success in this area can be a great source of pride for human and horse both. Most importantly, it can be done safely, and you will be showing the safe ways to do it. If you have to groom a horse, it will usually be a yearling being prepared for sale. Remember your safety zones. The idea of grooming is not only for looks, but also to get the horse used to being touched. Slow and gentle movements are how you should start. You might try talking in a soothing voice to the horse while you work. The more comfortable you and the horse are with each other, while paying careful attention to the horse, the easier your job will be and the better the outcome. You may be asked to work with mares and foals, such as by leading them between barns and fields, or loading them onto trailers and unloading them. There are right ways and wrong ways to do this, and you will be showing the right ways. Part of preparing yearlings for sale is exercising them. You may be asked to lead yearlings to the exercisers and bring them back to their stalls. As you can see, this is done in teams with one person on each side of the yearling that is in the yearling safety zone. As you walk the yearling out of the barn, he may see the wide open space as an invitation to take a nice run. This is where having a bond of attention between yourself and the horse will really pay off because if he is paying attention to you, instead of to those wide open spaces, he will follow you and cooperate with you. Once the yearlings reach their ultimate destination, the sale, you may be asked to show yearlings to prospective buyers. This is where all of your efforts over the months and years come together. Your work in trainings and caring for the yearlings can enable him to look his best and someday be all that he can be. As you can see, there is a wide variety of activities here that will keep your job fresh, exciting, and rewarding, and we hope that you will take pride in your work as you help to raise these potential world champions. Above all, we hope that this can be achieved safely, and we will do everything in our power to keep it that way. Welcome to Hanover Shoe Farms.